I wanted to run a video of these uh, low start blades, low wind speed blades that I made uh, to get these generators going. They were taking off at about seven mile per hour. Now they're taking off at about two mile per hour. So these silver ones on the top one I made. And the lower ones I bought on eBay. Now these are just basically short aluminum blades that are designed to catch low wind speed. The, the longer blades, even with six of them on there, it takes about a seven mile an hour wind to even get them started. They're starting at about two mile an hour wind shot the ones I bought on eBay. I'll give you a short tutorial about how these blades were made, the aluminum ones anyway. Well, they're both aluminum, my homemade ones. Let's see if we can get this to start. That wind slowed down. Blades are 20 inches long, the aluminum, low, low wind, wind start blades. 20 inches long. This is my blade pattern. I don't know how well you can see it, but I'll get a close-up of it so you can get the dimensions better. You might want to stop the video and get a screenshot of this if you plan on building them. The blade is 15 inches long, three and a quarter inches wide at its widest point where it mounts to the hub, and two inches long at the tip. The holes are quarter inch holes and they're drilled at 11 16th center to center, which is a standard uh, bolt pattern for the standard uh, wind generator. If you're building your own hubs, you can pretty much drill a, these uh, bolt holes any place you want to put them, any place that's convenient for you. I, I chose to stick with the standard size because you never know, I may build my own hub, which I have in the past, or I may buy one. And another thing, is. before you drill these holes, make sure you always use a center punch and, and punch them right in the center of the hole before you drill them so your drill bit doesn't wander or your holes will be off. Here you can see my holes are punched and ready to drill. Quarter inch drill. Here they are drilled and I'm taking them over to the grinder to get the burr off the back side of them. Deburred. Now I'm going to take them over here to this, this is called an anvil sheet metal cutter. Probably not many of you have one of these, but they're a real nice thing to have. But a, a good set of Wisp sheet metal cutters will work. Cuts right through this aluminum like it's butter. Now let me finish cutting it out and I'll take you over to the there bender. There it is with the blade all cut out. Getting ready for the bender. Now. You can buy one of these at Harbor Freight for about $99. If you don't have one, that's cool. I, I bought this when I was building HHO and I needed it to cut out my plates. I made several, several hundreds of units, so I bought this thing. Uh, anyway, an angle grinder is probably quicker than uh, using it sheet metal cutters. To, and you probably do a better job with an angle grinder cutting these out, unless you have one of these benders. Well, over to the bending machine. This is the bender I built. Probably not many of you have one of these either. But I'm sure you could figure out a way to bend a piece of aluminum. You can find, if you want to build one of these, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube how to build these. You need a welder though. Now I'm going to bend this from this point where it fits on the hub to the center point of the two inch mark here. You want to go up one inch. That looks a little less than one inch. Anyway, when you cut them, sometimes it just warp. And don't worry about it because it'll straighten right out as soon as you bend it. Now I've got this 
facing to where it'll bend in towards my marks. You want it to bend in so your hub lines up right. And here goes my band if I can bend and film at the same time. And here it is bent at about six degrees. You want to bend them all about six to eight degrees. If you got a six blade uh, hub, put three of these on and you will get a low end start on it. You might want to feather the edge a little bit right here with a grinder. But other than that, these work great. I want to get a wind speed start here on these little ones. This, this little one seems to start faster than the other one. Come on. There it goes. Mile an hour. One mile an hour. And I wanted to make wanted to make a correction on the blade size that I said earlier. So the green blades on the short, on the small one, are 12 inch. These ones I built are 15. But I'm, I'm getting a lower start speed with the shorter blades. So I may cut these down. Get them down to 12 inch. Alright, well thanks for watching. Happy YouTubing.